succulent, melt in the mouth, pork belly, crispy on the outside, but with this great aromatic flavour from all oh, that garlic and lemongrass filling. It's a Pinoy or Filipino lechon liempo. Crispy pork belly roll. Welcome back to Wok Wednesday. I'm Jeremy here from School of Wok in Covent Garden. Let's get rolling. Now, the pork belly itself, you can't really do this with a small amount of pork. So even if it's just a couple of you, I'd recommend sort of two kilos of pork and make sure that you've got enough for leftovers. Although in my household, this doesn't last very long at all. However many people. We're gonna start, ooh, we're gonna start. <laughs> We're gonna start by scoring the pork, but I wanna kind of work out which way is best to roll the pork. And actually, it's, there's a few cuts in here already, which is kind of helpful. See if that will work that way, maybe more that way is easier. Okay, so if I'm gonna roll the pork up like that, then I'm gonna score this way. You want to make sure you've sharpened your knife before scoring because pork fat is quite thick and difficult to get into otherwise. And the sort of Chinese way of scoring would be to blanch it first and then score. But actually I want to roll this nicely, get all the flavour into it before I blanch. And I am still going to blanch it, which is not necessarily classic sort of Filipino technique, but I find that it makes the skin even crispier. So we'll do that once I've marinated it. And you want to go sort of either sort of half to a centimetre thick between each score. And make sure you get into the fat, but don't go too far and hit the meat. Right, so my belly's been scored. Not my belly, the pork belly. <laughs> but, um, it, the most important thing right now is to get the marinade ready. And the marinade, I quite like a good mix of lots of garlic, about a tablespoon of onion powder, a good amount, about a teaspoon and a half of sea salt and black pepper. And I've got some rice vinegar, roughly a tablespoon. And that's just to sort of get rid of any sort of, sort of porky, porky smells. A little bit of oil in that marinade as well, just to kind of create a little bit of a paste out of it and for it to sit into the fats of the pork. With the pork meat side, I just want to score this as well. It doesn't have to be sort of too many scores, but the idea is to allow the marinade to really sit into the meat itself and sort of penetrate the meat and get all that flavour into there. And this scoring will also just help when I come to roll the meat too. So I've got plenty of sort of crevices ready for my marinade. You can see what the oil has done to that marinade. You just want to sort of really spread it, that paste across all of your inside of the pork. The black pepper in there really works a treat. It gives this nice base sort of warming spice to the whole dish. So once you've marinated all the flesh, I've got a whole load of stuff that I've cut up and bashed. I've got some bashed lemongrass, so that's whole lemongrass there, which you can pull out once you've roasted it, once you've cooked the actual dish. And then I've got all this sort of roughly chopped spring onion and red onion. And we're just going to get that into the middle of that roll. Quite a lot of flavour in this before I've even started. Next up, what you want to do is you want to kind of just lift the pork to get your string underneath. And I've got about six or seven p 
pieces of string cut ready to roll my pork. Just gonna start to tie this up and roll this over. Don't worry if you lose a few bits of onion or anything like that. So it's a little bit faffy tying something like this up, but don't worry if you've lost a little bit of the filling because there's so much in there already. Most importantly, you want to tie it relatively tight to make sure that it keeps its roll. There's actually so many different types of crispy pork or suckling pig in the Philippines. And this one is a nice one to do at home because roasting a whole suckling pig, I'm not gonna lie, is difficult. Ooh, look at that beauty. You could just salt this now and then roast it straight off, but in true Chinese style, I'm gonna blanch it first. So my pot of boiling water is ready. Just wanna carefully lay that straight in. And you do need a massive pot for this. So once you've had you know, those few minutes of blanching that boiling water, you can see how quickly the skin kind of tightens up around the roll. And that will just accentuate that crisp nature of the fat once we finish the slow cook. Let it cool for a couple of minutes, just so that we can get the salt around it, and not burn your hands. So most of my work is done here, or well, the hard work I'd say. You want to get a good amount of salt over this all the way round every part of skin. And you can see, once the salt hits the skin, you get this kind of glisten over the top of it, because that salt is working on that fat and bringing that excess moisture out. Make sure it's well rubbed all the way round to the edges. So all the flavor is inside the roll from all that lemongrass, the garlic, the marinade, and then the saltiness and crispiness sort of sets it all up from the outside. Now I quite like to just dab that dry before I pop this in the oven. 130 degrees in the oven, two to three hours. So that's gonna go for a good amount of time. It means I've got plenty of time to make this tiny little dipping sauce. Really, all you need is some Thai shallots or red onion, finely chopped chilies, and a little bit of cucumber, all finely diced. Now, this is kind of like a, a quick pickle, um, more than a sauce. I've got some Japanese rice vinegar here. And then about a tablespoon of palm sugar. I just want to melt that into the vinegar. A little bit of salt. And then over the next couple of hours, as that salt and sugar and vinegar kind of marinades the cucumber, you still have a crunch, but the cucumber will just turn a, a darker sort of greenish brown in color. And it just works a treat with the crispiness of the pork and the succulents of the fatty meat. Also a great time to sort of really paint a picture of where this dish comes from. You know, the Philippines is an amazing place where so many thousands of different islands. Now it's actually kind of reminds me of our trip out there. We went to Palawan and there's not much tr sort of public transport around, but the buses are kind of like mini bread vans and you kind of get sort of wedged into a tiny bread van, which for me is fine, but for taller people, a little difficult. And you might be on a journey for like seven, eight hours across these islands. But the one thing you smell is crispy pork. No matter where you are, just every single street, you've got this great sort of sense of like, oh, the skin of that is gonna be amazing. And every time a bus stopped, and we got off for a, just to stretch our legs, I'd make sure I'd get a little bit of lechon yempo. So after two, two and a half hours, the pork, the meat itself is gonna be really nice and succulent. All you gotta do is whack the heat up, 230 conventional oven for about 15 minutes to 30 minutes, depending on how quickly that skin crisps up. So this pork has had 
almost three hours on a low heat. And then it took about half an hour or so at 230 degrees C. Just remember, I switched the, the fan off, made it conventional oven for that last half hour, just to make sure that it crisps up without smoking the whole room up. Let that rest for a little bit, and then we'll cut into it. So let me just show you the inside of this. I mean, look at that for succulents with the perfect crisp on the outside. This is all for me. Don't know about you guys. It's taken me back to the streets of Philippines. And this dish is so crispy on the outside, you will not believe it. And the inside, with those aromats, the lemongrass and the garlic, just lifts the flavour of the meat even more. Oh, it's so good. You like this recipe? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ding! Hit that notification bell, tell all your friends, cook the food, and show us what you've made.